There's a new chief at the reservation. His name is Quentin Morgan as he takes over for head coach Bradley Allen. East Ridge is coming off a five-win season in which they were the four seed, made the playoffs, and lost in the opening round to Danville. So far, the coaching staff and the players are getting acquainted in learning one another. The transition is going smooth as the returning players are working hard. Uh, you know, it's great. Uh, being head coach is uh, definitely a different experience. Um, my biggest rank in football up to this point was a coordinator, and I've learned that you are responsible for, for every facet of the game, not just one side of the ball. So uh, it's definitely a lot of responsibility, but with the kids I have, the work they've put in, they've, they, they've made that responsibility a real joy. And, uh, man, it's been, a, it's been a really smooth transition. People want these kids to succeed. They're behind you. They want good things to happen. And that's why I love it here so much is because of the support I've had. This is one of the best camps that I've been to. The hot, one, by far the hottest hitting of any team out of the past couple of years. And I'm just looking forward to this great season and to see what opportunities bring us. This year has been the best year that we have ever, hardest hitting year that we have ever had in, since I've been here and I've played all four years. Um, here during camp, we, we like everybody has had a very good um, attitude. Yeah, we, we do plan on um, we do plan on proving people wrong. We want to win as many games as possible. Everybody here just has a great attitude. Everybody's going 100% at every at everything we do, and it's, I think I think we have a good shot of winning. The Warriors only have three seniors on the roster. They're loaded with a wealth of young talent. East Ridge has five starters back on both sides of the football. Despite being a playoff team one year ago. The players feel that they must prove people wrong. Everyone's going to say, hey, at the beginning of the year, let's set some realistic goals for your team. But realistically, with me and my staff in private, we would say, um, let's get above that 500 mark. You know, let's not be the four seed in the district. Let's get a one, two, or three seed. You know, let's not have to travel and play a state champion Danville caliber team in the first round. Um, realistically, I think that's, that, that, that can happen. We can get that two seed, and we can host a home playoff game, and that is my expectation, and that's what we're going to strive for. We're all going 100%. We're trying to do our best. Can't wait for the Pike County Bowl, prove people wrong, show them that we're not what they think we are, that we're better, and that's all. A lot of people have proved wrong this year. We Last year we only went 5-5. Five and five. We did go to a playoff game, and just this year we want, we want to blow that out of the water. We want to prove everybody we can wrong and just – People that stand in our way, we just want to go right past them. What? I hope we do great things. Hope we, hopefully, with 10 0, get a 2 or 1 seed, play a uh, playoff game right here, go as far as we can. From Lick Creek for EKB Sports, I'm Joe Kinzer.